Let's get into that most accurate forecast because we've got big changes settling in this weekend. High pressure is over us now, so that's increasing our temperatures today. But low pressure is right behind it, as well as a storm system that's going to clip in from the north. So tomorrow afternoon is when we see the first chance of just a light scattered shower possible here in the valley. And then rain chances build more likely to our east and to our south and some snow chances to our north around the dinner time hour, 5, 6 o'clock tomorrow evening continuing snow chances across the eastern portion of the state in the overnight hours into Monday. Then low pressure moves on. We dry out statewide and our temperatures start to warm again. So big changes today versus tomorrow, even right here in the valley. Both mornings will be mild because of the clouds moving in, starting off in the 50s and 60s, 60s by the 8 o'clock hour. By noon today, though, we're already pushing 80 degrees. Tomorrow at noon, we'll just barely be hitting 70. Today, this afternoon, in that four o'clock hour, we peak in the mid 80s at 86. Tomorrow, 10 degree difference in that four o'clock hour will still just be in the mid 70s, and that's where we will stay. Our air quality is in the moderate range, although morning particles are typically higher. Ash, poplar, and mulberry are your leading allergens, and they are high once again today. And that UV index is a 30 minute burn time, so make sure you're reapplying your sunscreen despite the cloud cover that will move in, especially if you're out at those spring training games or the ostrich today across the valley. We're in the mid 50s in Phoenix. We're in the upper 40s in Scottsdale and Goodyear and right at 50 degrees in Glendale and Mesa. Other areas of the state. We do have some freezing spots. Flagstaff is at 19 degrees this morning. We're in the 20s in Sholo, upper 30s in Payson, 43 degrees right now in Kingman. So spring training today. If you're headed out to Camelback, Camelback Ranch like Mark, then we'll be in the 80s, 81 degrees when that first pitch goes out. Surprise in Peoria will be in the upper 70s at that hour over in the East Valley. If you're at Tempe Diablo, Sloan Park or Holcomb Stadium, 80 degrees for that first pitch at one o'clock this afternoon. Then it's going to be a warm evening ahead. So if you're heading out to the Ostrich Festival and going to be uh, watching Nelly perform tonight, make sure that you just are prepared for warmer temperatures because at five we're at 85 degrees. Sunset is at 639 at seven. We're still in the 80s and then when Nelly takes the stage, it'll be 75 degrees, not necessarily hot in her, but not cold either. Across our state today, Prescott will be in the 60s today, 50s tomorrow. So we're going to see that temperature change across the state today versus tomorrow. Payson, 60s today, upper 50s tomorrow with breezes, and you've got a 60% chance of rain and snow showers. In Sedona, gorgeous weather today, 71 degrees, albeit a little breezy and overcast, but otherwise dry. Tomorrow, we increase those rain chances to 70% and you'll be in the 60s. Flagstaff, tomorrow you'll be in the 40s. Windy all weekend long and a 70% chance of snow showers possible for you. At the Grand Canyon, 60s today, 50s tomorrow with those breezes continuing. So here's what a look at those winds look like. Around 15 to 20 miles an hour starting around 11 today in Flagstaff, the Grand Canyon, Bullhead City, and Kingman really picking up through that 5 o'clock hour. Close to 25 mile an hour winds in Bullhead City with those gusts up to 30 miles an hour. Then everything dies down overnight, and then tomorrow morning, the winds pick up to our east from Window Rock down through Safford, Sholo with 20 mile an hour winds, Safford with 20 mile an hour winds. By the middle of the afternoon, those winds become widespread across the state. Here in the valley, we'll have winds around 15 miles an hour with gusts up to 20 miles an hour. And then once it dies down around 7 o'clock, we still will see those breezy conditions in the lower Colorado River Valley area, northwestern Arizona. Our temperatures, meantime, take us into the 70s Sunday and and through Monday, but then the 80s return on Tuesday and slowly but surely we climb back up so that by Friday we're pushing 90 degrees once again, but it's still far out, so we'll track it.